Different people have different preferences when it comes to working with C Sharp in the Visual Studio environment. And so briefly here, I want to show you how to make changes to many of the Visual Studio settings. Now, the Visual Studio environment can be customized very easily to your personal taste. The real challenge here is that customization can develop into a full-time endeavor. Now keep in mind, you probably won't stay employed very long if all you do is customize the Visual Studio environment. But trust me, there's so much stuff out there that you can change and adjust that customization can be pretty cool in Visual Studio. So let's go take a look at a couple of things. And we saw these when we did the installation with Visual Studio. Let's jump into Visual Studio and I've got my little Say Hello project open. We worked on this in another area of the course. But I want you to see that if I go to Tools and I come down to Options, this is generally where you're going to make changes to the overall environment of Visual Studio. Now notice on the General section of Environment right here, and let me just kind of bring this down and show you, all of these areas can be customized. Notice if I come down to Text Editor, you'll notice that file extensions, all languages. I'll show you one cool one. I can turn on line numbers. I'll just click OK on this. And then if I go back into my code behind, I can now see line numbers here. If you like line numbers, if you're used to them, that's the way to get those. So I'll go back to options. And then I'll just kind of come back up here. If I expand environment, you can see down here, for example, fonts and colors. If I click on fonts and colors, I can start to change, for example, the text editor is on 10. Well, I can change that to say 16 and click OK. And notice this makes a permanent change and this becomes the 100%. And if I want to make it smaller, I can certainly do that to take it back close to where I was. But I can make permanent changes without having to worry about my zoom window here. And I can do that on tools options as well. And so I will set that here and leave it like this so that you can see large type font and it'd be easier for you on the videos. Now, I do want to show you a couple of things. There's all kinds of things you can set. You can go play with these, all sorts of things that can be changed. But if you go into environment or if you go to general, they're the same tab, but you can set the color theme. Now, notice this color theme is blue. And when you installed Visual Studio, one of the screens that you probably saw had to do with these color themes. Well, notice I can set this to dark and click OK. And this is either going to make you sick or you're going to love it and want to leave it this way. Different people like different things. And so there's the dark environment. So there's what the form looks like. And you can see the Solution Explorer. And I can bring it out and you can see the toolbar. Or if I go to the code behind, again, some people like this. Others don't. It's totally up to you. How did I do that? Tools, Options, and I just chose dark. And so I'm going to change it back to blue and say OK. It'll switch it back. The first time you do it, it'll take it just a moment or two. Go back to Tools, Options one more time. And notice the menu items are all in uppercase. If this bothers you the way it bothers some folks, you can turn off uppercase. I can click OK, and they'll go to lowercase or whatever your preference is there. And then I also want to show you Auto Recover. Auto Recover gets saved every five minutes for seven days. You can change that. You can do Find and Replace. Also, let me jump back to Fonts and Colors. I can change anything that's out here. I can see all kind of things. Notice Collapse Text. Collapse Text when it's expanded. What it looks like. Collapsible Region. That highlighting that goes on back there, I can change all that stuff. And then, of course, comments. By default, they're green. I can change them to whatever color I would like. If for whatever reason I wanted to change them, and I can even change the background, and I can make them bold. So totally up to you, however you want to customize this environment. But that is the tools options. And then I just want to show you, I can right click on the project here, and I can go to properties for that particular project. And this is going to have to do with assembly names, namespaces, output types, that sort of thing, startup objects, 
I can set different forms for startup objects. Notice I can set situations on the build, on build events, on settings here, reference paths, resources can be set out here. And so I'll just kind of leave that to you. But just know that that's out here. There's lots of different places to work with these in Visual Studio. That is how you're going to make most of the changes that you probably will need to make in Visual Studio. Just remember Tools Options is going to be one of the first places to look. And again, this is another one. If you're going to work with C Sharp quite a bit, and you're going to be in this environment. I feel free to take a few moments to go out here and look around and see what you can change and get the environment in a way that makes it most efficient for you to get busy and to get something done.